Welcome back to The Morning Show. Uh, before we continue our chat with Ashley here, uh, big thanks to the Granby Chamber of Commerce. Check them out at GrambyChamber.com. It's a huge weekend in Granby and all over the county. It's 4th of July weekend and uh, Granby is known for the best small town parade in the universe. Not, uh, I can't back that up for sure, but it's pretty incredible. So check it out, GrambyChamber.com. They got fireworks parades. They got tons of events going on in Granby all weekend. Uh, it's a great time to be there. Have you spent any time in Granby yet? I've not been to Granby yet. Biked to Tabernash today and then turned around so and came back. So that was a you're good covering some grounds. You've got the Fraser to Granby Trail, uh, the first section of it uh, heading that direction. First so. section, yes. So I'm going to have a little bit more time. Um, I will definitely do that probably maybe tomorrow or the next day. My mom's texting me over here. That's kind of awkward. <laughs> um, so, so you're in town and you've come here. Obviously, you didn't come here to... Uh, help Abby and Mike out with their college search. But uh, just to set the stage, Abby is a junior in high school here, Mike's mm -hmm. daughter, our producer, and uh, she's serious about college, so she's actually focused. Personally, I was not. I, I think my parents sometimes <laughs> senior year said, you really need to figure something out here, and so uh -huh. I did. But uh, these days, the world has changed a lot in the last 15, 20 years. And so you really need to, if, if you want to, you know, if you're aiming for an Ivy League or a top tier school, you really got to be focused and it's a process. Right. Not just if you're aiming for a top tier school, but also if you're just aiming to make going to college affordable and wise and make, make the best investment possible because there are so many options. And that's another huge topic these days is the cost of college and student loan interest and all that jazz. Exactly. And so uh, it's, a, it's a big deal to be knowledgeable mm -hmm. and prepared so that you're doing everything correctly. Right. And I went through the competitive college process myself. I um, attended Barnard College at Columbia University, so Ivy League campus. And Ooh, it so you're was, a smart cookie. And, and what do you do professionally, if you don't mind me asking? I am um, an AP U.S. history teacher and a college advisor at the high school in Louisiana, a big, big school, wide variety of students. And I teach in the academically gifted program. I so you're have, dealing with a lot of the smart cookies in that school, huh? I'm dealing with the smart cookies, and it's fun because having changed careers from television and public relations, I've learned that teaching is a lot of performing. So level with me, which one's more stressful? Oh, having a political candidate call you in the middle of the night angry. Oh, wait, because you're teaching their kid? Uh, because their <laughs> other consultant called the opponent a desperate housewife uh -oh. on social media. With that, I was about done. That was say, also, another yeah. client of mine, why, who was running for governor at the time, his wife did a whole interview about her challenges with Hurricane Katrina on Aspen today. The only issue is he's running for governor of Louisiana, and they were in Aspen when the storm hit. Oh, boy. Nothing happened to them, but her, their struggles were just, he wanted it nationwide, which is, the Aspen community was wonderful to them, but... So the people in Bunky, Louisiana, didn't care. The people in, you know, the Ninth Ward of New Orleans, right. didn't care that he was in Aspen. In fact, that was kind of a negative. So, so that's in the rearview mirror now, that's and you're teaching in Baton Rouge. So you're liking yes. life, is what you're trying to tell me. I am very happy with life. Yes, and it's great to have the summers off, be able to come up here to Winter Park, Frazier. Get out of the heat and the humidity and love e life. Exactly. Yeah. So, so what uh, is college advising for? How many years? College advising for about five years now. Okay, so you're, you're into it. You know the ins and outs. I do. And I learned them more this year with my daughter going through the process. Like Abby, she was a very strong student. She had some advantages in getting into competitive colleges, being from an underrepresented state, being a What, what does that mean, underrepresented it, state? It means that the schools on the East Coast don't get many applicants from outside gotcha. the East Coast. And they, I was looking for some Colorado statistics for the competitive colleges and didn't see them, but I know that it's an underrepresented state I don't know population. this, but for our Colorado viewers, which is many, uh, is mm -hmm. there a competitive Colorado college or not? Colorado college is competitive and has aid that meets the full need of the family. University of Colorado at Boulder is one of the top public oh. universities in the United States. Is it really? I didn't realize that. Okay. Yes. Good for CU Boulder. Okay. Yes. People love And Colorado to College and uh, Colorado Springs is a top tier, or is that, I'm sorry, it's, competitive school. Yes. Their admissions rate is under 10%. Wow. I didn't know that. And they meet the full need of the family. So if you're from Colorado, that's going to be really, really, really competitive. Mm -hmm. If you're from Louisiana, it might not be as competitive. They, because they might okay. be looking for that kid from Louisiana who's, as good, who's a good fit. Maybe as good a fit as a kid from Denver, 
but they bring in that geographical diversity, that interesting perspective, the wonder of seeing snow for the first time. I got you. So that's why time. being an outsider is actually an advantage to you. Wherever so if, you're... And that's what our kids are having going to the East Coast, is they're an outsider. So it, it in the helps East, get their application slid through a little right. bit. Right. Or in the South, though, it seems like a lot of Colorado kids want to be um, warm, warm for a little while yeah. before they come back to this wonderland. So, so, so what are challenges that uh, kids, what are some things that are they face challenge-wise? Well, one of the first challenges before you even start to think about the college process is getting through 9th, 10th, and 11th grade. Because people think my junior grades are important, and they are, because that shows your highest level. But ninth grade and 10th grade count as well for your GPA which can trigger a lot they, of automatic GPA of all high school right yeah and that can trigger a lot of automatic scholarships so I'll talk oh, about when we okay. get to the money um, colleges look at your six semester average so they want to see a grade rise um, or for grades to be even for the A student for the A yeah. student yes exactly yeah. for um, so for that ninth grader, the most important thing is to realize those grades count. And those grades are one-third of the formula for the kind of money you can automatically get from a lot of and schools. I'm, I'm a great example because I don't even know that I matured until after college. And so to try and get a freshman boy like me to mm -hmm. actually care and worry about college, it's a challenge. It's a challenge for parents, I'm sure, to uh, have them focus there. It is. And I tell students that they can make more money these three years by doing a great job than they made their first five years out of college because a scholarship to a top school whether it be a public university that you can get an automatic scholarship to or maximizing your aid at a school that meets the full need of the family that could be up to i think my daughter's my daughter's aid is over a quarter million dollars. Holy cow. Well, on that note, we're going to take a quick break. Okay. Obviously, huge aid out there. And when we get back, we're going to talk a little more about acceptance rates and some mm -hmm. of the uh, challenges and things you can do financially to help uh, keep those costs to an affordable level. Because right. a quarter of a million dollars, uh, you know, that's going to blow the bank account pretty quick. So mm -hmm. once again, we're hanging out with Ashley Heyer right here on Channel 18, Outside Television. Stick around. We'll be back in a moment.